Hey guys, and welcome to a Nightmare Corridor guide. Um, in this guide, I'll just be showing you guys uh, the teams that I'm using for this current round of the Nightmare Corridor. Uh, and I also want to uh, shamelessly plug that I will be uh, live streaming my summons later today uh, when this video goes live. I'll be spending all my uh, my saved up time uh, cards and my um, stargazers and all my diamonds um, to try and build uh, my account out a bit because uh, having two awakened heroes, uh, while it, you know it's fine, um, I would prefer having more and I feel like uh, I can make an informed decision now on, on who to build next. And also I really want to summon for Liberta, uh, who I'm actually murking for this round of the Nightmare Corridor, which you guys will see here. Um, now, the teams that I'm using here are actually um, very free to play friendly, I'd say, uh, because I'm only using two Awakened Heroes. I'm only using Awakened Belinda and I'm only using Awakened Solis. Um, and for most people, those are like the most common ones to have built, uh, especially Awakened Belinda. I, I would uh, suggest if you don't guys don't have her built, uh, she's definitely the strongest one. So for this first team here, uh, I'm using a, a Wilder team because, um, and this team probably won't work next week. Uh, but the reason I'm using a Wilder team is because of this debuff up here, um, which um, buffs your team by a lot, as you can see here, uh, if you use at least three Wilder heroes. So that is what I have done in here. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly cheap team. No Awakened Heroes. We're using Yoren and we are using Trishier. Um, but as you can see, mine is not very invested into. And you could probably replace her with another Wilder Hero here. Um, but for me, uh, she worked at this investment. But obviously, if you had her 30 uh, signature items, she would be really good. And that's uh, mainly what, what, she, what where she spikes and also with her engraving. But uh, 203 for me worked fine. And next up here uh, is the Belinda team. Now, uh, Belinda really likes this Ivan guy, but obviously you could use Rosaline in here instead, or you could use uh, any other energy support, really. Rowan could work in here as well. Um, but yeah, self-explanatory is the Belinda team. It's the same as it has been for a couple of months now for this uh, boss fight. This one here, I'm using the Scarlet Grist formation. Uh, I am using Damia here, which is a a um, a more expensive hero, obviously. Uh, however, if you if you have lower investments of Damia, it, it probably works. The main thing, you're using Damia here, uh, four is actually just to protect your team against Scarlet, so she doesn't, so she doesn't uh, one shot the twins, for example. Um, so yeah, uh, it's not the fastest team. Obviously, it would be a lot better if you had like Awaken the Thalia or any stronger heroes. Um, but for me, you know, Scarlet Grass, super solid, and no Awakened heroes um, definitely works out. Now for this team, uh, this is the um, this is the hard fight or one of the harder fights actually. Um, where you need to use the Awakened version so of his Cs. So I guess I lied when I said I only used <laughs> two Awakened heroes, um, but I wouldn't really count him because he works at Legendary, right? So you can just toss him in here like I did, uh, and, and it's a completely fine, right? Uh, and then uh, in here you can use a Twins instead of um, Helios if you want to, um, but I'm using Helios because I want to use Twins uh, in here. And yeah, you're using Rem and Vithil. Um, you can also use, if you have, uh, that's what the top people are doing, if you have a strong Trishea, uh, she can uh, she can fit in here instead of uh, Vithil, but obviously I'm using her here. And also I don't have a strong uh, Trashier, or however you pronounce it. Now here, um, this is a fairly it's fairly tough fight actually. Um, if you had the new Mola hero, uh, Naruka or whatever, you would want to slot her into this fight. Um, and obviously if you had a Liberta, uh, who I'm murking for this round, as you can see, obviously this isn't my uh, Liberta. But for most people... Uh, they are building out Liberta, and also Liberta uh, works at a, a lower investment. I've seen, uh, I've uh, personally, I've used her at a, at just um, at just um, elite, right? Uh, however, <laughs> that didn't get it done. I think it took me ten tries to even uh, manage to do it at elite. So um, having higher investment obviously helps, but you don't need this crazy investment. I've seen it work at just a mythic, mythic twenty signature item, um, but obviously your time would be a lot worse. Uh, and also, if you had Naruko, which which I mentioned before, uh, slot her into this one, and 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 that uh, improves the team by by a fair fair margin. Um, but yeah, uh, I tried a lot of things in here. I tried um, I tried Lucretia. I tried uh, Kanisa and Rook. I tried uh, different damage amping heroes. I tried Hodgkins and stuff. Um, but for me, Silas was the best time from my uh, my limited uh, attempts. Obviously, I didn't try that many different uh, formation now for this last team here uh return of the goat Teline. uh Teline is a, a crazy hero for this round because healing uh, equals damage in this round uh, and that's why also i'm using rosaline in here because if we just uh, take a look at the fight right 
just uh, pay attention to the health bar when Talene ults, right? So, or she or Solus ult and she does some healing. But here, Talene ults, look at the health bar here. That's 10% damage. And then uh, when Rosaline uh, refreshes her, boom, another 10% damage, right? So, uh, Talene is a crazy hero in here. Um, I would even merc Talene if you don't have a built Talene. Now, a lot of people um, who have older accounts uh, built Talene. I built Talene recently, actually, which I kind of kind of regret. But now, all of, his, all of a sudden, I don't regret it <laughs> because she's used here. Um, but I mainly built her because of her usage in the Cursed Realm with uh, Orthos, the time-stopping hero. Um, but she's falling out of meta there. So... That is uh, that. Th those are those are my teams, the teams that I I used to uh, to do this round with. Now, um, last week, uh, wait, what is okay? Uh, last week um, there wasn't any videos for me. Uh, I was at a friend's wedding uh, Saturday, so I was a uh, well, yeah, I was pretty uh, pretty out there, pretty drunk. Uh, but I just managed to get my my last attacks in there, and also my score last week was not even that good because I was just. Uh, I barely barely did my attacks. Uh, I kind of want to show you guys what did I get last week. Yes, yeah, you can see here. Uh, wait, what? Where's yeah? Fourteen percent. Really not good. I didn't do any research, so I I didn't want to put out a video also because I was super hungover. Uh, so I don't think it would have been been the best thing. But yeah, um, those were my teams. Super free to play friendly. Uh, I'd say only using two awakened heroes. Um, and obviously, uh, if you don't have Belinda, I actually. Uh, let me see if I can find that because I know there's a a, a version that doesn't use Belinda. Um, I just saw that recently, so I do want to find that real quick for you guys. Actually, I have it right here. This is uh, just a quick extra thing, I guess. The browser. Let's go here, right here. Um, shoutouts to. Let me make sure I can see it myself. Shoutouts to uh, Otokoda. I'm not good with names or pronunciations, but as you can see here, uh, instead of Belinda, he's using um, Anasta uh, as the damage dealer in here, and then he's using uh, Rowan. And it, uh, and this is obviously a, a nice alternative if you don't have Belinda, but obviously, as always, I would recommend you guys build Belinda because she's, uh, I think she's still the strongest hero in the game, but if, even if she isn't, she's definitely like a top three or top five strongest heroes in the game. But yeah, if you don't have Belinda, you can, you can use this. Uh, and then uh, before I, I end this video, I just want to do one one last shameless plug here, if you guys don't mind. Um, later today, um, when you see this video, I will be doing, uh, well, it's in five hours uh, from now that I'm recording, I will be streaming my uh, my summoning session. So if you guys want to wanna come and, and hang out and, and laugh at my raids, hopefully my raids are good. But if, if it's not good, I hope it, it'll be at least uh, entertainment. <laughs> entertaining to uh to see how salty i can get if i, I if if i get uh, shafted on the rates um but yeah if you guys want to come check out uh, it's in uh, five hours well from well four hours from when i'm recording i don't know when youtube will upload this video it depends on how long it takes to render and stuff but uh yeah i'd love to see you guys there um and even if you if you don't have time or whatever if it's a bad time slot i will be uploading this uh, as a video afterwards um because I have a, well, it's kind of a tradi tra tradition for me to upload my, my summons uh, to my YouTube channel for the Awakened Heroes. But yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, again, here are my, my teams, right? If you don't have Belinda, you can use Anasta. Um, pretty free to play friendly, right? Uh, obviously, that's a, <laughs> like that's a, that's a scale, right? Um, but compared to the, uh, the top teams of the leaderboards, right, where you're seeing, you know, an Awakened Hero uh, in every single team, right? One, one, and even the the double, double. Well, this one doesn't really count because it's uh, it sees right, and you see the new awakened lycan here, and then obviously Solus in the last team. But uh, I don't want to drag out the video any longer, so uh, I'll just uh, say uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys can uh, can check by the stream uh, later today. Bye.